Hey people, so I'm here today to demonstrate my graduation project. It's finally completed. It has the uh, line following function. It has the manual control using the PS2 controller. And right now I'm going to start by demonstrating the line following function. So, Alright, so this is the project and I'm going to start by demonstrating the main components on the project. So we're going to start off with the uh, indications for the line following sensors. This shows the line position. And this is the manual controller interface for the PS2 controller. This is the MCU PIC 18F4520. And that's an LCD display 16x2. And this is the motor driver. And these are the circuitry bridges for the motors. This switch switches between the manual control and the computer interface. So right now I'm going to just start up the car and show you how it functions on the line following. As you can see, the line position is shown on the indicators, LEDs, on the top. And we're going to center the car right in the middle. Now, let's run the mode by using L1 on the controller. Alright, look at this. Pressing L1, car would start following the line. It's, it's, <laughs> the battery's a little bit dead, but... All right, I'm gonna put the controller down so you can see that I'm not doing anything using the controller. It's just following the line by itself with the aid of the infrared sensors on the bottom. All right, so our main focus on the project was to come up with an idea that would be implemented in real life applications. So what we were thinking is the beds at hospitals without the need of many nurses moving them around or like the physical manpower to move beds around from room to room or from ER to IC unit whatever so we were thinking that the beds could move on their own if there were lines across the hospital with different colors and each bed, each bed has sensors that would detect that specific color for each room. It's not just black line that you can adjust the sensors to. It's just black is the easiest color to adjust. And so the, the, that was a success, I guess. And I'm just going to demonstrate how it would follow this infinity rote. That's a closed loop. You're going to see right here. Center it. Put it down. All right, as you can see, th this is not an easy job. It's really not an easy job to have so much programming to be doing this. It took me like six months to finish the project. The manufacturing of the body, the circuitry, and all that took about six months. I built it from the ground up. Now, at any time, we can override manually by pressing the select. And we can control the car manually, any direction using the analog or the keypad direction and it's just kind of you can use the R1 and uh, R2 and L2 to dim the lights as you can see the square and circle you can rotate the car in position and you can control the analog sensitivity movement of the car by pressing lightly on the analogs it's it's kind of hard to control while filming, but let me let me show you. If I press gently, it would go slow, slower, and if I press backwards gently, slow, and increase the speed by increasing the tilt of the joystick. And that was my graduation project. I hope you all enjoyed it.